All right, this tutorial is titled, Does X Satisfy the Equation? So the name of the game in this section is Substitute and Reduce. So all we're going to be doing is plugging in a value that is given for a variable into the equation, reducing it as much as we possibly can, and then determining, yes, this is true, or it does satisfy the equation, or no, it does not. So for our first one, is n equals 3 a true solution to the equation? Negative 21 equals negative 63 over n. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to substitute instead of n, we're going to say that 3 is now going to be in our n position. And I almost wrote n. So we're going to simplify this. Um, on the left-hand side, there's nothing we can do. It's just one single number. But on the right-hand side, we have a division or a fraction. And negative 63 divided by 3 is negative 21. So since we have the same thing on both sides, then yes, n equals 3 is a true solution to that equation. Over on the right-hand side, is a equals 8 a true solution to the equation? 2 times the quantity of a minus 1 squared equals 98. So first thing we're going to do is just substitute 8 into the a. And we're going to reduce this using our order of operations since we have multiple steps. So parentheses comes first. Inside the parentheses we have 8 minus 1 which becomes 7. Then we have exponents. 7 squared or 7 times itself twice is 49 and 2 times 49 is 98 so yes it does satisfy the equation now if at this last step let's say for example instead of 98 you were to get 97 just for hypothetical um, since those two numbers are not the same, then your answer would have been no, it does not satisfy the equation. You have to get it all the way reduced down to the same number on both the left and the right side of your equal sign. If they are different, then your answer is no.